And good morning, it's Dr. Brenda, sociologist, financial coach, full-time RVer, traveling the country with my three cats. Hey, please subscribe below, hit that bell to be notified of new videos. Early morning here, I am just starting my hike on Old Rag. Asked a couple of guys in the parking lot whether they recommended bringing trekking poles or not. A lot of rock scrambling, so uh, the advice was leave them behind. I love my hiking poles, but I know when I did Angel's Landing, I had wished I had left them behind because they just were a nuisance. So the way this route goes, from my understanding, is uh, it's pretty much in the woods for a while and then a really tough rock scramble and five miles back on an old fire road so it's the first part it's going to be tough nine plus miles um five and a half to six hours always seems to take me a bit longer so give or take half an hour then there and i'll check in as we get closer up to the scramble and brought a couple of snacks with me, so hopefully I'll be uh, I'll be all right. But for very foggy at the uh, campground, I waited uh, for the fog to lift. Asked uh, the ranger here if it had been foggy. She said no, so I could have gotten here earlier. It's still fine. This does require a ticket that you have to purchase online. It is just a dollar, but that is their way to regulate the number of hikers. Apparently it has gotten out of hand. It's the most popular hike uh, in Shenandoah, well, we're actually outside Shenandoah National Park. Uh, most popular hike here. So this cuts down on the volume of hikers. All right, here we go, wish me luck. I'm at the 8 tenths of a mile, uh, not a bad, walk at all. It's been raining most of the week, so things are wet. Taking my time, make sure I don't sleep, slip. Uh, one more thing, you do check in at the parking lot. There's a ranger, ranger station. Show them your online ticket. They'll scan it. They also want to see your National Park Pass and your ID, so make sure you got those things handy. I am at the, uh, the point where you have to decide to go up or to the right and if uh, uh, what is highly recommended what people do is go up because there you're climbing up you've got the rock scramble up if you go down this way you've got the rock scramble down not idyllic so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna head straight up mile 1.4 some other hikers here let a couple of people pass me by uh, but definitely not crowded at this hour and it's getting to be a little bit rockier it is uh and inclined but uh nothing nothing too serious i i'll tell you when i hike my mind kind of wanders and uh, i decided to kind of separate my hiking life into bmw pre-bmw post bmw bmw uh before mount washington I guess, or, yeah, and uh, AMW, I guess, after Mount Washington, because everything is now relative. What might have seemed like a very, very difficult hike at one point uh, is now relatively mild. Now, I haven't gotten up to the scrambling part. I think I'll change my mind up there. But I've noticed just a huge uh, difference in my ability to hike longer distances in 13 plus miles and to um, put in some good climbs. So this is AMW after Mount Washington. Going okay, I'll keep checking in. Okay, 2.3 miles. I gotta tell you, I got into a groove. I am in a groove. I am cruising up here, passing people by. I think the uh, real tough spot hits, oh, maybe up at mile three. We'll find out, check in, 
things are going great. Mile 2.5 still going excellent. Came across some down trees. It is September 9th, I believe, here. So weather's been great, a little bit muggy and looks like a storm. Well, this looks, could have been rotten too. So anyway, it's mostly out of the way. Just have to step over this baby. Um, but the trail is damp, but it's, it's been really, really good so far. Okay, it's mile 2.7. And things are looking rockier, uh, a lot trickier. So I don't know how far this goes up, but for me, it seems uh, mile 2.7 is when it could start getting a little bit tough. I guess I'll, I'll only know if I keep going. Mile 2.8, ah, uh, yeah, getting a little bit rockier. This is my first real good viewpoint so i'm gonna drink some water i've got three bottles of water one has electrolytes in that's what i've been drinking first and continue up old rag nice view mile 2.9 okay this is getting fun isn't it check this out hopefully this isn't too bad try not to break my camera or myself but uh time to get on up here huh hopes to have some tree branches to climb up on here we go don't hit your head Yep, I crawled. Not too ashamed to crawl. Okay. Ooh. see a good view coming up. I'm going to take you along. Catch my breath. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, totally awesome. Totally awesome. Ooh, starting to feel like I am in New Hampshire. Mile 3.0. And, yep, following the blue blaze up here. This is where, uh, from what the description is, we start to see a lot of false summits. So you can see I've got incredible views. And now I need to follow. <laughs> blue marker okay can squeeze through this guy ah you don't see me complaining this is just pretty darn fun not sure if that's where we're headed ah, just take you along for a bit before I need two hands good thing I lost all that weight I might have gotten stuck in one of these crevices. Okay. Ooh All right. Here we go. All right. Need both hands now. Check in with you in a bit. Miss Cool. <laughs> 
It's really cool. Okay, I've got some trail pals here who have helped me navigate. This is where we're going. Had to get down from up on the rocks. <laughs> down to this little tunnel underneath. Okay. This is pretty wild. This is wild. I have no idea what's going to happen down there, but I'm told this is the right way. I'll check in. And this is how we're doing. This is what we're doing. Come on down this way. So, here we go. But, yeah, everybody's confused. Mile 3.1. That was crazy. It's just getting crazier. So here we go. I've uh, crawled, I've scooched, I've slithered, I have jumped. <laughs> this is just, thank you for the blue arrow there. <sighs> oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Look at this. Just wow. Thought about wearing my GoPro, but I didn't want it to get in the way. Kinda glad because with all the extracurricular activity here on this hike, probably would have gotten scratched up, beaten up, maybe even fallen off because this is something else. This is something else. Oh, let's see what we got up here. Crazy tenth of a mile. Two tenths of a mile. 2.9 to 3.1. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay, here I go. Oh yeah, this is unreal. This is unreal. I'm looking at the blue blaze and I'm like, I know. How am I going to get up there? And then, I'm going to walk around here a bit. Come with me. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Steps and a boulder lodged in the crevice. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is also a good time to tell you backpacks are not recommended. You're going to get them caught on some of the stuff. You got to crawl over or around and through. I have a waist pack. It's working out good. Okay. All right. Okay. Now which way, right? I think we're going up here. Okay. Okay, I got some guys ahead of me watching them navigate up here. So now it's my turn. Let's we'll see how this goes. Holy cow, mile 3.3. That was one of the toughest spots I had to climb up. I thought I'd need a boost, but uh, made it. Totally made it. Okay, gotta keep going. It's mile 3.6. With a little deviation there. Got a little bit lost, one off trail. Uh, pulled up all trails, backed up, found the blue blaze again. Let's see how we do here. Check this out, huh? Another false summit. Wow. This has been, don't you love the balancing rock? 
This has been a wild trail. Not sure if we'll ever hit the peak. Here we go. Squeezing through more stuff. Always helps to watch the people ahead of me. See what they're doing? Helps. All right, here we go. Mile 3.7. We've got some more false summits ahead. Whew. I have a feeling the worst is over. I have to tell you, there were times, there still may be times ahead. My legs are feeling pretty shaky. It's uh, climbing up, hanging on with my hands and trying to get myself boosted up and leveraging and whew, I'm going to be a sore person tomorrow. Lots and lots of uh, leg work, uh, crawl work, all kinds of stuff. Let's see if I can take you up this way for a little bit. Hope you're enjoying the hike with me. Yeah. Uh, some fellows hiking near me are, they hike the Inca Trail in Peru, and they remark that this is, has similarities to Angel's Landing uh, in Zion. And it does, it does. There you've got chain, you've got to get yourself up too. But you can't be afraid of heights on this trail. You gotta keep going. Okay, that's where I'm headed. Need both hands. I don't know how far away I am, but I think it's, I think I'm not too far. Mile 3.9. Old Rig Summit to the right. Elevation 3,291 feet. So it's not one of my 4,000 footers, but wow. This has been amazing. So I'll get to the summit and then start descending 5.2 miles away from the parking lot. I'm getting close guys. I'm getting close. One Mr. Toe's wild ride. Wild and amazing ride. Here we go. We made it. We made it. Okay. At the summit. This is it. Old Rag Mountain. What a gorgeous view, huh? Totally worth it. Okay, I'm gonna hang out here, see what I can dig around for food before heading back. Okay, at the 4.0 mile mark, I've hung out for a while, had some water. I just wanted to take you out here one last view. This incredible place. And then I'm gonna head down. So I can, uh, Absolutely highly recommend this if you can go with somebody else that can uh, give you a boost up every now and then That might be the best um, But uh, you do it yourself use this all trails app for sure because it does get a little confusing there are some places that uh, where you lose the blue blaze and At least if you've got the app you can find your way back to the trail and so I've got five plus miles to get back to the parking lot. I'm feeling pretty good. I'll, I'll admit I, um, I haven't eaten today, so I was going to snack a little bit. And I'm like, you know what? I feel pretty good uh, now that the worst of it is over. So I'm going to head to the parking lot now. Watch out for the bears and see how things go. Maybe stop and have my snack, but I, I do the fasting. I had some, uh, yesterday was a feast day. I had some of my favorite Tillamook peaches and cream ice cream and some uh, little, uh, oh, a little peach like turnover pie thing. So I, I've got plenty of calories still hanging around here today. 
and uh, gonna, I am sure, have some more peaches and cream ice cream when I get back. So, uh, you know what, I, I don't talk much about my age, but let me tell you, I'm 58, and I will be 59 in December. And I give that to you as a reference if you're wondering if you can do these kinds of hikes and you're older. Yeah, you can. Uh, this was not at all easy. And uh, definitely if you are, are afraid of heights, big, big challenges here. But yeah, you can do it. Just take your time. Uh, get yourself in shape. This will help you get in shape for sure. But absolutely do it. Okay, I'm uh, headed back down, and I'll check in with you on, as the trail descends. It should be a easy walk down on the fire trail. Great, great day. Beautiful day. Beautiful scenery. Couldn't ask for much better. Mile 4.8. I gotta say, I'm a little bit surprised that this is. Uh, it's taken me a while to get down here. It's been rocky, rocky and slippery. And I know that there is a fire road ahead. In fact, uh, reviewers have talked about, you know, the last uh, five miles on the fire road and how boring it can be. I'm actually looking forward to it, uh, taking my time here because things are kind of slick. But just uh, so you know, it uh, still no sign of a fire road. We'll see at what mile, mile um, that picks up because that ought to be a really fast trek back to the car. Hey, I'm at mile 5.5. I think I may have found the uh, fire trail. There's a shelter down here, the old rag shelter. Um, I saw a couple of rangers hiking up, so um, maybe that's their car. Maybe not. But we'll show you what the shelter looks like. And then I've got... Well, four and a half, five miles to go yet. But this ought to be a piece of cake. Here's your shelter. A little fire area, picnic table. Place for you to stay dry anyway. Got a... Uh, Uh, yeah, not uh, no, um, not a nice platform to put your sleeping bag on, but you got a roof. It's a shelter. Overnight camping in shelter prohibited. No camping within 100 yards of shelter. So this is not an overnight shelter. Interesting. Okay, let's go hiking, and I'll probably check in on uh as i get back to the parking lot i don't know I, we'll see maybe they'll see something interesting but the worst is over um now it's just a matter of miles let's do this baby miles at mile six and uh i think the app said this was like a 9.2 9.5 mile uh route uh, this tells me i'm 2.5 miles away from old rag parking so you know, the GPS's are always off a little bit. I'm at Post Office Junction. So let me show you where, where we're at. This was the site of a small mountain community. Residents shopped, socialized, attended church and school when Shenandoah National Park was established. In 1935, residents were relocated, making way for the hiking trails. So this is, uh, the postman was W.A. Brown, the old rag postmaster and storekeeper. So that is the, that's the story. Okay, two and a half miles to go, feeling really good. Just uh, cracked open my last bottle of water and uh, ready to, ready to, to uh, head on back. So soon soon i'm at mile 7.3 took a little detour yeah there's the there's the bridge i do minutes of relaxation so i just uh film this for a minute you guys want to hang out with me for one minute ready set go
our minutes up. I hope you enjoyed that. Mm, getting close to the parking lot, but this was a fantastic little break. Always love the sound of rushing water. Man, I feel a little bit bamboozled. Uh, my app says 7.7, .7, but it inadvertently went into pause mode for a while. So I don't know that that is the accurate mileage, but I thought I was taking the fire road all the way back to the parking lot. Uh-uh. I had to cut over onto this trail, and that was uphill. Uh, not too steep, but generally, at, after seven, eight miles, you get kind of tired. So that uh, uh, incline kind of knocked me out. I'm back at the post, and that means I've got about eight-tenths of a mile down to the parking lot. Yeah, and I'm back. Uh, my app says 8.5 miles. I suspect it may be more. I wanted to mention, hey, this is where you go to check in. The ranger is going to um, scan your pass to do uh, old rig and check your your um, your uh, um, national park pass and toilets over here. There were also some, uh, uh, well, an outhouse by on the fire road at that shelter I showed you. So a couple of tips there. This has been an amazing time. It has, uh, this is one of the most technical hikes I've been on. Very, very tough, uh, enjoyable, very enjoyable. Highly recommend it, so get out there on Old Rag. Hey, until next time, take care.